Today, we are going to be naming the ionic compound CaH2PO42. A lot here, but we got this. Uh, there's a trick, guys. If you have an ionic compound that has three or more different elements, you know that you're dealing with at least one polyatomic ion. In this case, we have four different elements. We have calcium, hydrogen, phosphorus, and oxygen. So let's first see where the polyatomic ion is and then work ourselves, you know, from there. Just know that polyatomic ions are never on the periodic table. You guys got to memorize them. I put the one that we're going to be seeing in this video, all right? So just flashcards it, you know, with all the ionic compounds that we've done, there's a playlist for these. You could write down all your polyatomics and just memorize them. But in this case, H2PO4, which always has a negative one charge, is called dihydrogen phosphate. PO4 is phosphate. You have two hydrogens. So di means two, dihydrogen phosphate. Okay. And I can see it right here, right? H2PO4, here it is. So there's my polyatomic. The only other element is calcium. And if we see where calcium is, it's right here on the periodic table. All elements in group two are metals. So there you go. Now let's name it. The metal name always stays the same. So you don't have to change it. So CA would just stay calcium. And then polyatomics, those names always stay the same. So that's why you have to memorize them. So it would be dihydrogen and then phosphate. Long name here. Now, since it's ionic, just make sure, you know, do we need a Roman numeral? But the metal here is not a transitional metal. So we do not need a Roman numeral. So we are done. So CaH2PO42 is just calcium dihydrogen phosphate. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I hope you guys are doing well, and let's keep studying hard, okay? I'm rooting for you guys. Good luck on your tests and quizzes, and I'll see you in the next lessons. Bye-bye.